This is Hugh from the Moon Specialist. And today I've got something a bit different for you. Uh, I bought a 400 quid run and began. And uh, well, let's see what I've got. So this is all I've got at the moment. I don't actually, uh, it's, it's, it's a buy it now. So Van Heim Auctions do a buy it now on the weekends for some of the cars. And uh, this is the inspection report. So all I know is it's got no MOT. The car looks, you know, perfectly fine. And the previous MOTs, have been fine. It's got 100,000 miles and uh, one key. That's three services, three keepers. And that's all I really know. So it's a bit of a risk. It might be an absolute bag of, well, guano, or it might be all right. We'll see, won't we? Uh, so there we go. It doesn't run smoothly and the engine orbit is below minimum. So because it's got no MOT, I'm gonna take the trailer and go and pick it up. Invoice and with the fees, uh, it's 624 quid for a template run every gun. So, just like to pay that. This is it, it's what I bought. Doesn't look too bad actually. Uh, the only thing is, got no OT, of course, but bodywork is all right. Uh, a bit faded on the headlights. A, a gift from a pigeon. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see, won't we? See what it, uh, see what it, see what happens on the MOT. Looks like someone's had a bit of an accident on the seat. It's disgusting, actually. Right, well, that's the key. Always things are a bit weird, these things, but there's the key. Uh, and... Oh, it started up all right. Not sound too bad, either. So I'm just about to load it on our trailer there, but I think a machine polish will do a world of good. You've got a lot of oxidization on this. It's not dented. And well, some blemishes, but what do you expect? I'm just going to leave most of it. I'll try and make it shiny, and uh, we'll stick a ticket on it. We'll, we'll service it, and we'll see what we can get for it. Right, so I've got it back, and uh, I've noticed there's quite a big vibration from the exhaust underneath. So I'm going to throw it up on the lift shortly. And let's see what that is. It's probably just a, a, I don't know, an exhaust mount or something. Before this goes for MOT, I'm just uh, going to have a quick look underneath. A bit of rust on the back box here. Uh, but that's all pretty tidy. Coming down here, this vibration was from on here because we've lost this uh, connector here. So I might be able to put a bigger washer on that, but that was vibrating on the exhaust. But it's actually pretty good down here. Uh, CV boot's good, both sides, and no oil leaks to speak of. It's very good indeed. Right. Quite a tidy little car. Yeah, so we've just got the MOT back, and we failed, but nothing major really. Coil spring, tractor end, and a couple of tyres and advisories. So, do you know what? It's not bad. So, MOT failure was this spring and well actually there's a broken spring right at the bottom so it hasn't actually changed ride height too much but yeah so i've got a new one a new spring to put on i'll do that now uh some rusty bolts here not looking forward to that i think i'll clean those off and then this track run end has got to come off again that was that can be fun is it i'll I'll clean off this uh, rust with a wire brush. Right, so as you can see, I've uh, cleaned off the threads and put some brake fluid on on this. I'm just going to let it soak because it's going to be, I think, a bit of a mission to get that off. And while I'm doing that, uh, I'm going to, yeah, I've soaked those as well to get this started. So that's one track running done. Actually, fairly painless in the end. I really hate doing these. So even though I've cleaned the thread up, that is solid. So I can put that in and I can turn it, but I've got to somehow crack that. I'm going to put some heat on it. But what I have been able to do is use this right angle Allen key up against there and turn it. But something's going to go ping. I mean, it really is a lot of pressure on there. You can see it doesn't want to go just going to bend that. It's off. A bit of heat and a bit of perseverance. So now I've got to get these off. 
So these are off, and now I've got to take these off, but that's really annoying. That's the two of the three top bolts. The one's buried down there, which means I've got to take the skull off. Windscreen wipers. Oh, didn't expect that. And then again, what can you do? 400 quid car, eh? So I've got access to these three bolts now. So let's uh, take the coil off. So this is uh, dis a disassembled spring there. So that's our broken bit. It's uh, strange, these days you get more broken springs than uh, you know, shock absorbers. Anyway, let's get this back, back together, get rid of my teeth. Well, this strut was very rusty, so I blasted off all of the, uh, the surface rust with a wire brush and just hammerized it. So uh, when that's dry, I'll put the spring on. Well, I've got to tell you, that was a mission, but we now have a new spring. Uh, yeah, not my favorite job, but all done now. So here it is, uh, machine polished, just lightly really, just a, a light mop, and now valeted, MOT'd, so we've got to the MOT, needed a coil spring and a track end, it's all good, and uh, looking pretty decent, and the, and the seats come up well. So remember how bad they were, they looked pretty good. So, and I've already had an offer of £1,400 on the car. We'll see where that goes, I mean there's, Still a cheap car, isn't it? I mean, Thomas ticket. It's got Bluetooth music and uh, Bluetooth hands-free. Five door, 1.6. It's ULS, ULES, I think the word is, compliant. A um, couple of viruses on the front tires, but when I mean, the tires are fine, they're just rubbed on the edge there, but the tread themselves is really good. So, not a bad car. So 400 quid, Auction fees 226, uh, 30 quid MOT, 30 quid in parts, and uh, here we go. So total cost to me for 710 quid, call it, uh, and I found a trade buy for 1400 quid. I think I could sell this on Auto Trader for 1800 uh, with a warranty and with advertising, of course, as more costs. But I'm happy with that. That's not bad for what two, three days' work.